recently I downloaded Mabox. So Mabox is a Manjaro based um, Linux distribution. So uh, it's it's uh, customized. Uh, it, it features a customized uh, open box window manager, and it's already pre-configured and re and ready to be used. So there's no need for us to install it manually and uh, configure it manually as well. So um, it's also inspired by CrashBang as well as Brunson Labs uh, utilities adapted for Manjaro. So uh, what we have here basically is um, Manjaro based uh, uh, Linux distribution. So Mabox Linux uses some XFCE and LXDE components as well. So um, actually those those things uh, uh, came from their website. So um, it, it uses also LX xfce so when you talk about xfce we're talking about a lightweight um, desktop environment so that's one of the strength that's, that's one of the beauty of uh, uh, um, xfce which is actually quite lightweight and for its uh, the panel it uses the tint 2 for its default default panel um my box uses the G G menu for main menu side panels exit dialog box and screenshot tool Okay, so we have your JG menu. Okay, and these are as well as um, side panels. We have your the side panels and um, exit, exit. So we're going to click exit. Okay, so we have your this is exit also dialog and screenshot tool. But uh, for this afternoon or for today, uh, what I'll be doing is I'm going to show you how to install Mabox uh, Linux in your. Uh, virtual machine so i'm also going to add the the link where you can download the box linux so we have here um install my box linux uh using step installer but if you don't want to install you can just use its uh, live installer now um one of the things also that i noticed about my box linux is that uh conky is already pre-configured so on the right hand panel you already have your conky as well as on the left hand panel you also have your conky so um this one uh um already is it already displays the different um system information and we have here the different um shortcut menus uh this is not actually conky sorry so we have here uh system uh different um uh uh system shortcuts for on, on how to navigate Okay, so we just have to. Okay, let me just try to show you how to install this time. So I have here install Mabox Linux. Okay, now Mabox Linux is one of those installer, one one of those um Linux distribution that doesn't use the uh, Calamaris installer. So it uses the Herbolt installer. Okay, so again, very much like the same as what we would normally do. We have your American English. Then uh, click next. So we'll just set its uh region next also. Uh, keyboard model, let's try to look for English US default, and then next, uh, erase disk. Okay, we don't need to encrypt, so what's your full name? Let me just try to specify my password. Okay, use the same password for the administrator account, then click next. Okay, so once everything is set. Um, what you can do is we just can click install. So, uh, Mabox is about to, to make changes on your disk in order to install Mabox uh, 22.01. You will not be able to undo these changes. Okay, so let's try to click install. Um, so, this is its uh, Linux installer. So, Mabox Linux Manjaro is a respin in lightweight open box window manager. So, actually, this is one of the things that I've noticed about um, Mabox. It said it, it's quite uh, light it, it's quite uh, um, it's it's hardware friendly it, it doesn't uh, it, it, and it's also quite responsive and like the other Linux that I have tried because I've been trying it only on my uh, virtual machine so this one is quite uh, due to its um, lightweight uh, uh, feature it, it, it's actually quite responsive so 
Uh, it retains Manjaro's favorite features like automatic hardware recognition, AC installation, and rolling release. So it's also uh, a rolling release for the development. So actually all of the Arch-based Linux, which is also uh, same with Manjaro, since Manjaro is based on Arch, and Mabbox is based on Manjaro, Manjaro is based on Arch, so it's just uh, fitting that it's going to be a rolling release um, uh, it, it will be a rolling release okay uh, the gg menu base main menu enables you to search for programs uh, two side panels okay so uh, this will be the mobox control center which you will see later once everything has been set once everything once the installer has been uh, done or once we, once we are finished with the installation okay so control center this is where we can actually configure and customize our mabox we can also edit the look in the field mabox linux um, desktop can desktop can be easily customized to fit your preference thanks to the bansen theme manager we'll try that later uh, when you have when you're happy with your customized look you can easily save it and later switch between your favorite settings with theme manager we'll try that later Okay, so now we're done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Mabox Linux. Okay, so we're currently at 93%. So we just try to finish it up. So don't forget to tell your friends about it. Uh, we're almost done with the installation. So um, currently it's unmounting. Okay, so let's say it's, uh, it's all done. Okay, so let's now click uh, the check button to restart and also try to remove the media. done okay we'll try to restart our machine now one of the things also that i've noticed with my okay let me just try to uh, restart first reset reset okay so we're now restarting one of the things that i've noticed with my box Linux is that uh much like in any other Linux distribution, it uses 800 by 600 uh, default pixel. So we'll try to adjust it first. Then from there, we'll try to work out uh, other, other things such as theme customization and so on. We we'll also try to look at some of the pre-installed applications and we'll try to compare it with other Linux. Um, okay, so we have here, this is our login screen, by the way. So as you've noticed, it's not located on the right hand or left hand part but it's located at the left hand part okay so it will install login okay let's try to wait first okay so the keyboard shortcut is still here then we have our welcome to mabox okay so the welcome screen is finally here okay our uh, the, the usual you have update system, quick start guide, development, add kernel, install popular apps, forums, and so on. So we also have our conky on the um, right hand side. So the first thing that we would do, let's just try to change the resolution. Okay, uh, uh, the arrow, by the way, will, will uh, display, clicking the, right, the left arrow will display the quick navigation. So we don't want that. Let's just try to click this one, terminal. Okay, so I have to go to settings. So I have to look for it on the settings. R and R system. Let's try to look for startup. Key bindings. Okay, let's try it here. Startup. Auto start. Leave it here. Auto start. main menu okay we have here mamox config okay so i mean okay let's say that's not actually it we have your auto start edit auto start okay so we have your from auto start you have your edit auto start file for advanced 
Now, let's try to look for this one. Okay, we have your resolution. Can you see resolution? So, this is actually our resolution. So, X render. Okay, let's try to add another one, another line. So, I added another line. It's VGA. Okay, but we still need to check. Okay, let's try to check first. I need to right click. Then we have here terminal. Okay, let's try to run X render first. So, this is supposed to be our virtual one, normal virtual one. Okay. Uh, output. Virtual one primary. So, we have your 800 by 600. So, we'll try to increase its uh, size. Make it um, 1440 by 1440. Make it fourteen forty by nine hundred. Okay, then let's try to restart. Try to restart our let's try to um reboot. Okay, so to reboot it. Let's, let's try to see if it's going to work. Okay, we edited our X render. We, we tried to check first the our X render. Then uh, we tried to uh, edit it this time. Okay, let's try to see if it's going to work. Okay, so we have here currently it's loading, it's booting up. <clears throat> Now, one of the things that I've noticed with uh, Mabox is that it's it's a lot faster to load compared to, let's say, for example, elementary OS and so on. Or even, uh, oh, so it worked. Okay, so this one, actually, it's already working. Okay, so we have here already our size. It's uh, 1440 by 900. So I've also adjusted the size uh, of uh, my Mabox. Okay, so this is actually our, our Mabox desktop. Okay, so let's try to see what are the different apps that we have here installed here. So we have our browser. terminal so this is open box by the way but um they were able to, they they already uh, pre-configured pre-configured the open box uh they already pre-configured open box so it's it's a lot more uh beautiful than if you're going to install it manually so let's try to check if it's my running neo fetch now as you can see um this is the Neo Fetch. Okay, I've, I've executed Neo Fetch. So we have Mabox Linux, VirtualBox 1.2, kernel, uptime. It's been running up. It's been up and running. Okay, so we have your screen resolution. We have 1440 by 900. So it's Window Manager is open box, theme, Mabox, Super Desk. Okay, let's try to check if uh, we can change the theme. Let's just change the wallpaper first. Okay, screenshot, accessories, box config, wallpaper. We have here wallpaper. So these are all the different. Okay, now for my box, um, other uh, other um, you know, distribution is pay, but for my box, they they're using nitrogen actually. So okay. All I have to do is double click. They made it a lot simpler uh, when it comes to changing wallpapers. Okay, so unlike if let's say uh, you're going to re uh, uh, install first, um, uh, install a install first a different distribution, then uh, install uh, open box on top of that particular distribution. Let's say Ubuntu and install Nitrogen. Then I have to do it manually. Unlike if I'm using nitrogen, uh, unlike if I'm using my box, we're in, all I have to do is double click, open nitrogen, then all I have to do is double click, then um, 
it's already uh, pre-configured so you can just change whatever to whatever uh, uh, wallpaper I like okay so let's say try to look for something here I try that the other one in the car okay so this one okay so I already changed the wallpaper okay all I have to do by the way is you preview the image with the paint yeah uh cancel then say to click apply say to click close okay so if you wanted to change you can basically just go to uh, or you can just right click and um the accessories no no sorry so we have here uh terminal uh, box config then you have here wallpaper okay or right, say to check if we can do okay, we already have here also my box config then we have uh, wallpaper. You can also change it if you're just going to right click on the desktop. Then let's try to select this one, theme manager. Now for theme manager, currently, uh, okay. Uh, restoring config saved as. Okay, let's just try to click OK. Hmm, this is nice. So, um, We have here Bunsen. I think the default um, arc, arc, dark. So I to click restore. Okay. Okay. So these are the, all the different um, themes found on the uh, found on our map box. So we have colorized map box, cyberpunk. Uh, so to use Dracula, or let's maybe try to use Groove Box. Okay, uh, double double click. Okay. So it's Arc Dark. Ah, it's Groove Box. Okay, so this is Groove Box actually. Then we we'll just have to quit. Okay. So we changed the theme to groove box. So this is no longer the default theme. So if I'm going to right click here, uh, box and theme manager. I think the default, let's try to check uh, my box super desk. Uh, say to double click. Okay. Yeah, this is the default theme. My box super desk is a default theme. So we can actually change it to, uh, I change it to um, groove box. Okay. Now notice by the way that uh, Mabox is quite responsive. For some, for a Linux distribution that has, um, that is actually quite uh, uh, beautiful or aesthetically beautiful, um, Mabox is really uh, responsive compared to other Linux distribution that I have tried. Okay. So we have it here. This is actually a uh, groove box. Okay. Then we also have your add remove software, accessories, clip it, um, development. So we only have uh, Genie and Meld. Okay. For graphics, that's it. Multimedia MPV Office. So it doesn't have any Office installed yet. Um, settings. I think this uh, Mabox is actually quite good if you're on the development um, side. So if you're going to use this one for, the, for development, I think this one is actually quite uh, appropriate. Uh, since um, you can just uh, install the different tools that you will be using. Notification, power management, and also have power management. Okay, so say to change again the wallpaper. Uh, box. Okay, straight wallpaper. Uh, This one apply okay then another one okay let's try to select um the, the theme managers are able to change it to uh if we change it to groove box then this time uh, box config we have here reload GTK load. I say to look, look, I say to select look and feel. So these are the different um, widgets, color, icon, theme, 
and so on that we can also customize so currently we are using Coco Stream Mix so color we can change the color icon theme gnome okay and white tab beauty line so on it's so to close so you can also customize it here font and so on right use the terminal uh, preference okay profiles layouts we go by mm -hmm. try to use color give your uh, thermal separator highlight Ah, okay, we have your colors uh, on gray background. So it's uh, this one is we have the, the transpire is set on the background, it's not under colors. Uh, normally, in uh, term, oh, this is actually Terminator. So by default, they have Terminator installed. They don't have GNOME terminal, but they use Terminator for their pre for their um, default uh, for its default um, terminal. Uh, for the default terminal okay so so this is actually my box okay so then for the last time let's try to check Bunsen let's try to check Bunsen Yeah, don't go for group box. So I mentioned earlier that uh, it uses the her the the her both um her both um installer actually uh Mabox Linux twenty one. Uh, this particular um uh mob mob this particular uh mob box um version is a it's is nicknamed as uh herbolt and not uh, it doesn't use the herbolt uh uh installer but this one is actually codenamed as herbolt or uh nicknamed as herbolt so i made a mistake there so we have here quit okay so this is uh, Mabox Linux. Okay. So if if you want if you want to download it, I'll add the download link at the bottom. Um, feel free to subscribe if you find the uh, contents of this channel useful or interesting. And um, that's it.